save, and steal food just to eat. That is Michelle Knight telling Dr. Phil the torture she endured trapped inside Ariel Castro's house on Seymour Avenue for 11 years. Another Cleveland woman went through something similar and watched the interview today. She spoke with News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin, who joins us now. Yeah, her name is Laura Cowan. She was held captive for six months when she lived in L.A. She watched Michelle Knight and said she felt like she was reliving her own nightmare. I told her that everything that happened to Tears rolled down the face of Laura Cowan as she watched the interview with Michelle Knight. She herself is a survivor of rape, starvation, and being held captive by this man, Mansa Musa Muhammad, who held her, her two children, and another family of three captive in a three-car garage in California. The year was 1999. A lot of similarities, yes, yes, from the food, the torture, the treatment, everything, the three women in the home, the, the whole works down to being raped because I was raped right in front of my own kid. Muhammad is the father of 19 children and a self-proclaimed Islamist polygamist. It's reported that he hung some of his kids from the ceiling and beat them, forcing them to eat their own feces. Cowan and her children were held for six months. They watched and saw so much. And they can hear the screams. They saw me being beaten. They saw me being stabbed. She says her son, who we are only showing his hands, was the most tortured. And while in captivity, after the repeated rapes, her family would grow. I had my two children, right, by a previous marriage. Mm -hmm. And when he raped me, I was pregnant, just like Amanda was. And, and that's his daughter. The daughter between Cowan and Muhammad sat beside us. Muhammad got seven life sentences for what he did. On Newsnet 5 right now and on our Facebook page, you can hear how Muhammad made Cowan dig a hole in the backyard of his house and how he tortured one of his own sons. Live on your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. We've learned the 